defending a Copa Coca-Cola Poiza champions at Deure Secondary School were booted out of this year's championships following a 4-3 post-match penalty loss to Chinoy in a Navy semi-final match played at Gwanda's Pelandava Stadium Saturday the 23rd of July. Given the chances that fell Chinoy's way, they should have wrapped up the match in normal time but were unlucky not to breach the Deure goal when it looked certain they would hit the back of the nets. Playing up before a packed Pelandava Stadium, Deure almost stole an opener from what appeared an internal cross by Edwards Machinia, the baller bouncing away from the top of the horizontal bar. The second half should have been concluded when Tafara Nerwanda's long-range free kick was parried away by the Deure keeper. If that had not been threatening enough, then the defending champion's feathers were definitely ruffled when a long baller from the back eluded the Chinoy defense to fall gratefully onto Tatenda Sharara, who could only rattle the bar to deny his side the opener. With penalties imminent, Chinoy would again be denied by a goal line clearance after Simon Kasukure's goal bound free kick had appeared on its way to shaking the nets. The two sides then headed for post match penalties, and Deore's Edwards Bachina sent a Chinoy keeper Joshua Maringosi the wrong way to send Deore into the lead before Anes Basunda exhibited a great composure to calmly slot his penalty the opposite direction to the keeper's dive. Tawanda Madondo would restore Deore's lead with his rising shot, but Chinoy would fall into areas when Simon Kasukuere ballooned his penalty to Norway. It was 2 1 in Deore's favor, with both teams having taken two penalties penalties apiece. Prince Milanzi complicated things for Deore when his shot was saved by Chinoy keeper Maringosi and as Prince took the long way back to the others, shaking his head in disbelief, Chinoy keeper Maringosi perhaps sped on by his save, just took the shortest route to the penalty spot to square the scores at 2 all with both teams having taken three penalties. It got worse for Deore when Lee Rumodamoto had his shot saved by Maringosi to keep the score sheet at 2 all and God knows Kanempinga could have given Chinoy a 3-2 lead with both teams having taken four penalties but Deore keeper Brendan Gobo flew to his left to block a God knows rising penalty to keep the scores at two apiece both teams having scored and missed it twice. Mnyalaz Matore then put Deore into a 3-2 lead by sending Maringosi the wrong way but Chinoy were back on level terms at 3 all when Tafara Nirawanda squeezed his penalty past the diving at Brendan Gomo to send the penalties into sudden death. David Chemudondo's awful penalty all but sealed Deure's hopes of making it into their second straight final and indeed their fate was sealed when Brendan was sent the wrong way to propel Chinoy into the finals of the boys category. Zimbabwe senior national soccer team assistant coach Mkupali Masugo also watched the semi-final and praised the sponsors for their sterling work in bringing the juniors competition. They've been spot on in their sponsorship where everything that they did I give them a thumbs up. 100%. Uh, it's it's uh, it's quite uh, uh, interesting to see uh, Coca-Cola keeping sponsoring the, 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 this tournament. Masugu, who is also Premier Soccer League aside, Harare City's assistant coach to Moses Chunga, also revealed that he had interacted with some of the youngsters, but had to be careful so as to avoid arousing pressure on the boys. They were so excited and I didn't want to dwell much on, on them because, you know, youngsters, they will think, ah, it's going to be me who's going to be seen, it's going to be me who's going to be selected. But I think uh, overall, uh, I just gave them a wait or two just to encourage them to keep on uh, playing well.